Hey developers, my name is John Bobro. I'm CEO and founder of Move38, and I wanted to walk you through getting your first developer kit for Blinks. So let's take a look. Here's the dev toolbox that you received in the mail, and we're going to do a full unboxing first. Of course, we'll start with the getting started guide. You've got all the information you need to describe exactly what's found inside the developer kit. So let's take a look at what's in here. So we've got a couple of cables, and I'll describe what each of these are. And then inside, we've got some foam to keep all of the developer tools uh, nice and protected. Uh, I'm going to go one by one here. The most important one is this. This is your developer blink, and it's a special blink that has a port on top of it that allows you to uh, power it from your computer and program it and update it real quickly. So I'll set that aside. The next tool that uh, I'm going to uh, pull out is the programmer. And you'll notice that the programmer doesn't have any cables attached to it. This gray one will first attach by placing in here. And then the other side of this gray cable is going to attach to our developer blink. And there's two ways we can attach it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one's the right way here, but if we plug it on, we won't do any damage by doing it backwards, uh, and so we can try it both ways. Lastly, there's a USB mini, and it goes to USB. If you have a MacBook Pro or new MacBook like I do, you're also going to need a little USB-C to USB-A adapter. You can just plug that on. Um, and now we've got our developer blink all put together and uh, ready for us to code onto. Um, there's a couple of other items in here. Uh, this is for serial printout and debugging. Uh, I'll get to what this spudger is for a little later. And then a publishing tool, which is really cool. I'll also show us uh, how to use that too. Um, but for the moment, we're just going to leave these pieces in here. On the back of this card, there's also some really nice uh, quick start instructions. And so let's go ahead and follow these. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my browser of choice, and then I'm going to go to move38.com forward slash let's do this. Welcome, Blinks developer. Cool. So the first thing we instruct you to do is join the forum. It's, I'm going to open that in another tab. It's an amazing place to get to know the developers uh, working with Blinks. And some of the most uh, common questions you'll be able to find answers to here. So for example, if I'm trying to troubleshoot, uh, if I type in troubleshooting, I'll get all of the... Uh, relevant responses in there. Cool. And so I'm going to close the forum. You should definitely join and say hello. Step two is to install Arduino. So let's go ahead and click on Arduino. And we're going to uh, install. This is the latest version and I'm on Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Arduino is open source software and you're welcome to donate to continue to support the efforts. Uh, you can also click Just Download. It is free. So now that we've downloaded Arduino, uh, you can see that it's right here in zip form on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and unzip the application. And then I'm going to drag it to my Applications folder. So let's go ahead and put Arduino into Applications. All right, so let's take a look at our next steps. So we've Join the forum, we've installed Arduino, and then uh, install the Blinks SDK. So that's how we're going to program our Blinks. So the first step is to launch Arduino. The second one is we're going to copy this URL and then add it under the Boards Manager URL. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to copy that, and then we're going to go over here, we're going to launch Arduino. For the first time, of course, yes, we want to open it. Okay, so this is Arduino's IDE, 
and this is where we're going to type the code for our Blinks games. Um, the next step was to go to preferences and add this URL. So let's do that. So we'll go to Arduino preferences. And in here, I like to do a couple things. Uh, I like to check compilation and upload. That's going to give me some debug information. I also like to display the line numbers. Um, I'm going to paste that URL here. Click OK. All right. And then I'm going to go up to Tools. I guess I'm jumping ahead. So the next uh, step is to go to Tools, Boards, Board Manager, and search for blinks. So let's do that. Tools, Board, Boards Manager. So let's go ahead and search for blinks. Cool. The first one to come up is blinks by move 38. And then we have this nice install button. And it looks like the tools are downloading. And uh, this is how it looks when it's installing the Blinks SDK into Arduino. Uh, if you hit any hurdles here, uh, you might just want to retry again. Um, it seems that sometimes the server might not be uh, perfectly up, but then just clicking retry uh, works just fine. And so it looks like it's just wrapping up. Uh, on installing these tools, and it'll let us know when it's done. Okay. So now that we've installed the board manager by going to board, boards manager, and searching for blinks, once it's completely installed like so, go ahead and close. You can then go to uh, tools, board, and you'll see move 38 in the board, and then blink is what you want to select. So we've now selected move 38 blink. If we go to file, examples. In the bottom of the examples, we'll see uh, all these getting started examples. So let's go ahead and select color wheel. And so once we've selected the example, we can plug in our developer blink. And then I'm going to press upload. Oh, but first I might need to select that's right, I need to select which programmer. And the programmer we're going to use is the Blinks USB Tiny ISP. So let's go ahead and try that upload one more time. And you can see the upload progress here. Um, and then once it's completed, we'll see this blue spiral, which is I'm searching for neighbors to program. And then after 10 seconds of that, it will time out and it'll simply show our sketch. And so now we can see that it's running this color wheel sketch. And if we wanted to try another example, let's try one with interactivity. So we'll do uh, getting started button cycle colors. I'll press upload. And this process is pretty quick. I don't need to hold the blink at all. I can simply uh, press upload and keep changing the code and there it is. So it's already uploaded the next one. So now I want to show you how we can put this on other blinks because it's cool that we can put it on the dev blink um, but you've got all these blinks sitting here that you want to test uh, you want to test what you just wrote on. So if you attach it to the group and then press upload we're just going to try that one more time It says done uploading, and now they've found each of their neighbors, and it automatically starts the upload. And so it doesn't matter how many blinks you have, uh, once you press upload, it'll start this process, and that way you can make quick changes. Uh, it's really, really handy. Cool, and so now we've got the color wheel running on, oh, not color wheel, button cycle colors. And so if I press the button on all of these, it changes the color 
each time I press. Cool. So now let's uh, take a look if I want to uh, put something else on one of these. So let's say I want to uh, publish my game. And so this is a good development cycle. I can quickly uh, upload games. But if I want to take it with me, I'm going to want to put it on a blink rather than the developer blink. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to take this blink. You can use any blink you have. And then underneath the battery here, there is six pins. And these six pins are going to allow us to uh, put our game permanently on one of these, or semi-permanently, on the Blink. And so let's go back to our developer kit. And so here's the Publish tool. And I mentioned we would use that a little bit later. And so the way this Publish tool is going to work is that we're going to line up those six pins, and we're just going to gently press so that there's a little bit of a springiness. And uh, we're going to do that, but with the programmer. So in this case, I've got the programmer hooked up to our developer blink. Um, it's always safest to unpower it first. Um, remove this part from the developer blink. And then we're going to add our publish tool. And so the publish tool has one side that is designed to connect and the other side where the pins press pass through. They look pretty similar. Um, but we are going to attach this to the side that has the little black plastic and does not have the pins. Okay, so now we've got our programmer and the publish tool right on the end of it. And so I'm going to take this blank or blink and I'm going to line up those pins and press them on here. And if I do it correctly, there we go. Oh, of course, I need to plug my programmer in. There we go. So if I plug the programmer in and then press these pins, it'll light up. And so here I've got the publish tool held against my blink. And then I'm going to press upload. And the same process happens. And we're just going to wait until this uploading says done uploading. Cool. It says done uploading. I take that off of there. I put my battery back in. And now this blink has exactly that sketch on it, and I can take it anywhere I want and work with it. And when I want it to teach to all the others, just like any other Blink, can hold it down for three seconds, introduce it to the group, and let it share that code. All right, I hope that was really helpful. We just went through the developer tools and showed you how to install Arduino, as well as use the developer Blink and the publishing tool. If you have more questions, of course, reach out on the forum, forum.move38.com. I really can't wait to see what you make with your Blinks developer tools. Thanks so much. Peace.